grade 8 math number 5.3b find the equation of a linear relationship we can use the points on a graph of a linear relationship to write an equation for that relationship the equation of a linear relationship is y equals mx plus b the slope intercept form of an equation for a line that's where m equals the rate of change or the slope and where b is the value for y when x equals 0 b is the y-intercept it's where the line crosses the y-axis that's why the x is zero so this graph shows five points we need to show that the relationship is linear and write an equation for that relationship so all the points are on the same line so the relationship is linear you can even see the word line in the word linear see that so let's take a look at these points We've got negative 3, negative 3, we've got 0, negative 1, we've got 3, 1, 6, 3, and 9, 5. So now we need to write the equation for the linear relationship. And we've done something like this before in the previous videos. We choose two points to find the slope with the slope formula. You remember the slope formula? It's the change in y values over the change in x values written as a ratio, like a fraction. Okay? So, I chose 0, negative 1, and 3, 1. And remember, we choose our points from left to right. So I chose this one as x1, y1, and this one as x2, y2. We have to go from left to right, okay? So here's our slope formula, and we're going to plug these values into the slope formula. So y2 is a 1, and y1 is a negative 1. So we have y2 minus y1. That gives us a 1 minus a negative 1. Remember, when we subtract negative integers, we add the opposite. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Now we've got 3 take away 0. That's x2 minus x1. 3 take away 0 is 3. Our slope is 2 thirds. So now we've got our slope. Now we can choose any point of xy coordinates to use the slope 2 thirds to substitute the values for x and y and m we plug in to this slope intercept form. So I chose our points 3, 1. I figure 1 and 3 are going to be easy to multiply 2 thirds by. See? So the 3 is going to be very easy. So I plug in the 2 thirds slope in the place for the m. I plug in the 3 for my x value. See? That's the x value. And I've got my plus b at the end. That's what we're trying to find right now. 2 thirds times 3 is 2 times 3 is 6 over 3 times 1 is 3. 6 over 3 is a 2. Now I take this 2 and our equation says 1 equals 2 plus b because this equals 2. 1 equals 2 plus b. So I subtract 2 from each side of the equation to isolate b. And look, 1 take away 2 is a negative 1. This 2 and the negative 2 create a 0 pair and cancel each other out. The b drops down. Our y-intercept b is a negative 1. So now I can use that to write the equation and the slope. So we put our x and our y in for the equation. We put our 2 thirds for our slope and our minus 1 for our b for our y-intercept. We've got our equation. y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. See? And that is the linear relationship. Okay? All right. We're going to continue on, and now we're going to talk about bivariate data. That means we're going to put two lines on the graph. Okay? I'll see you next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos, and don't forget I'm on Twitter if you'd like to uh, have any of these whiteboard pictures to study from. Bye.